Uh, good evening, everyone. This is the October 24, 2018 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. This meeting is being broadcast live and is also being recorded for further viewing. Um, this meeting and other meetings can be viewed at the town website, which is urbanguide.com. Before we begin tonight's hearing, I'm required to ask if anyone in the audience is making a recording of this meeting. Okay, I'll take that as a no. The first item on tonight's agenda is 7 p.m. public hearing, uh, Scribner okay. Development, LLC. A notice of intent for construction uh, to replace um, an, an existing failed septic system at 411 Leicester Street. Is there a motion to open? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. Is there anyone here for a Scribner? Isn't this the matter where um, it's going to be referred to for peer review? Yes. So, um, and the peer has that. Wait a minute. Have they returned the check? System. Um, I think I don't know if they're doing it between themselves. I think uh, Jay Dubois had got in touch with somebody. Yeah. Um. Well, he's not coming tonight. Yeah. I, and we don't know when he didn't we're going to review back. Or not. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. All right. I recall seeing an email about a check, though, being uh, sent by Mr. Dubois to cover the peer review cost. Is yeah. that right? Do you I haven't that? received anything yet. All right. That's fine. Okay. And, uh, yes, we did get the work plan. I did send him that over how much it was going to be, I think. So much going on. <laughs> All right. Well, no one's gonna, apparently yeah. no one's going to come tonight. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to take uh, matters out of order just a little bit. I understand there are gentlemen here in response to the um, the enforcement order we issued for 13 Magna Vista Drive. Gentlemen, why don't you come on up, please? Come up here and have a seat. And identify yourselves. This is the gentleman, the owner. I am his translator. Okay. He doesn't speak English much. So. Yeah. Okay. It's my pleasure please. to help him. Thank you. And who are you, sir? Colin. What's your name, sir? Oh, Andy. Okay, Andy. So what have you got, Andy? We have this letter uh, from conservation uh, regarding uh, his dock and water. His dock and water. Yeah, dock and water. Dark. Right. We sent a letter because a notification, sh we should have been notified before any construction was done at his property, sir. Okay. So it's my turn now. When he bought his house, the dock was pulled out, it was laying on the ground, uh -huh. I mean grass mm -hmm. was falling apart. Right. So he rebuilt that mm -hmm. as the same it was and put in the water. I, I did a little plan. Actually it was existing back there. Right. He just repaired, put it back in the water. Okay. It's in uh, in the water, twelve feet in the water. It's twenty and a half feet long. I have a little extension to the side, mm -hmm. you know, it's for pleasure. And it's, uh, this section is like 10 feet. Okay. That was existing. My point, sir, is that we should still have been notified before any work was he done. He didn't know. He didn't know anything. He's, he moved in like three years ago. Mm -hmm. And when was the work done? Fairly recently? No, just when he moved in, that was like three years ago. The when he moved in, he wanted to spend some time on the work, I mean, Sir, we have a pleasure. Being Sir, we understand that. We should have been notified is what we're saying to you. But he well, did it three years ago? Yeah. Can it was a device to see what I should provide you? Yeah, so long. Yeah, when he moved in, he, he wanted to have enjoyed, you know, mm -hmm. the weather and sit down there. And so he figured he had this dock, existing dock. Mm -hmm. He repaired and he just put it. He could see the marks actually on the ground where it was installed. He put it in the same place. And that was three years ago? Yes. Do you know no, why I someone. I'm going to get the cat's kid or cat. I'm sorry, what did he say? He says he enjoys to sit down there at the evening for something. You know, just, it's no fishing, it's all green. Okay. But, uh, but again, you built that. He had no clue that he had to report it. Yeah, it's not about the fishing part. That's okay. It's about actually just having. And I understand that. Oh, okay. 
But it was three years ago. Do, yeah, like, I, I don't understand why they called on him now. They just called. I think he's, his tree on his property just fell over the fence to the neighbors. And they, the neighbor was yelling at him and this, this, you're doing all of that, and, you know, like. Uh, so you got into a bit of a dispute with your neighbor? Right, right, with oh, the neighbor. Because he fell on his property. Mm -hmm. and he told him he's, he's, he's responsible for the tree. He's not. Actually, we have a letter from insurance wow. that he's not responsible. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a jealousy or whatever you call that. Right. Okay. It's very unpleasant. Apparently That's what I so. can tell. So he probably report him in that he put it back in there. All right. Well, sir, <clears throat> if you plan to do any other work on the dock, yeah. mm. or near the pond, oh, no. No. if you do, let us know first. Yeah. Of course he will. He he, he, he's learning now. Okay. He knows I explained him. Even I called the inspector, we're rebuilding yeah. a shed in an existing place. Uh, the building inspector is it's, it's fine, beautiful. Okay. Looks nice. And I know you have to drive up or some to the dog run it tree. I have to stand to stand there. The drive. Do you have to put some? He just planned to cut off the 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 tree fell. Okay. Uh, actually, my brother-in-law cut off the stump off, but he tried kind of tried to cut out a couple more pieces to his property line. So the neighbor will be so upset and the rest of it is his responsibility, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you for coming All in. Right. Okay. You work for public works? No. No, okay. You look so familiar. You're all set. Yes? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for your right. thank, thank you for coming, coming in. in. Nice thank meeting you, you all and yeah. such a pleasure. Thank, thank you. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you for the night. We have a few minutes before the 710 hearing. So let's take a crack at the minutes. Okay, the minutes of September 12th. <coughs> These are the ones you had sent Allison to correct. Okay. You sent me some corrections, and then yes. the last it's meeting we were going to yeah. vote on them. I wasn't sure if we had the right set in hand, so this is the revised. It says revised up here. Has everyone got that copy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, revised, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. draft. Okay. Yeah, it say draft, but right here it says revised. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Does anyone have any additional changes to the revised minutes for September 12th? Oh, Sheila, you're doing very well, Sheila. <laughs> and Allison. Yeah, Allison, yeah, that's what corrected all my poor <coughs> grammar. Was Good it time. helpful to do that track changes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. If no one else has any changes, is there a motion to accept the meeting minutes for September 12, uh, 2018 as revised? I make a motion we accept the minutes of the meeting of April 12th, 2018. September as revised. September 12th, sorry. September 12th, 2018 as revised. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. All right. Uh, the next matter on our agenda is the 710 public hearing. Alvin Pope, a notice of intent for the repair of an existing septic system on property located at 515 Rochdale Street in Auburn. Is there a motion to uh, open? Really? Yes. Second it. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. 
Come on up. Hey, Frank Carey with Burton Engineering, representing the project for Mr. Pope. I uh, have the butter uh, notifications. Okay, you can give those to Sheila. Thank you. And their DEP has not issued a file number uh, for the project yet, but just to give you the quick background. Uh, so it's a septic repair, and um, there was an order of conditions, and they started construction about a week after the original order had expired. Right. And so uh, we had sent in a request for a certificate to close out that order as work not started, and then requested a notice of intent, uh, filed a notice of intent um, to cover the work. It's already been completed. Um, and so we're just trying to get the process squared away. Sure. And the installation's already done. Okay. So, um, again, so we'll be requesting a certificate of compliance. Once we get the order of conditions, we'll request a certificate, close everything out. Close out the first order of conditions. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. <coughs> That's generally what's happened. And, um, I so, know. Uh, just background. So um, the septic system, as Gabe was putting it in, it was Slim's. Uh, sewer, uh, they hit ledge, and so we had to move the system, and so it actually moved, ended up being farther away from the wetlands, uh, farther away from the house, and so that was a, a delay to get the testing and whatnot done, so uh, I think he was within a, within a week when he started it and thought it would be a day or two and finished, but it, it took longer because of the ledge, and so it dragged out a little bit, and rather than do the emergency order, it's, we're here now. So. Understood. I, <clears throat> I went out there, and I, I believe other members of the commission went out there over the summer. Okay. Well, <laughs> excuse me. The project was um, was underway, and um, so basically, you're telling us that all the work has been done. I believe so. Okay, the site's been stabilized. Yes. Um, has grass been planted over the field? I don't know. I, I haven't actually been on site yet, so I'd have to okay. follow up and get some pictures. And okay. um, when we it, and it appears that the homeowners are right behind oh, you. Neighbors. No, no, neighbors. No, neighbors. neighbors. Okay. <laughs> there has been grass planted. Okay. Sorry. sorry. Okay. Yeah. So, are you satisfied? I thought there was, but I didn't see it myself. So. Not a problem. Are you satisfied that the work has been done properly? Yeah, yeah um, they got to remove the caution tape, but that's it. Okay. <laughs> what, what's, what are your names, please? William Milanazzo, M I L I N A Z Z O, and Jennifer, same name, okay. 11. 11, okay. Um, so we're just curious to see what was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, you had to go to verification. It's the first <laughs> one we got. So we oh, okay. Darn, it's a boring one. Nothing too spicy. Yeah. Some I mean, it's nice to come, but yeah. see how it works. See yeah. how it works. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we need to it might be helpful to look at it again. The wetlands on our property, so sure. Yeah. Exactly. Knowing yeah. about it. Yeah. <clears throat> So I think um, because it's been a while since we've been out there and since the work now has been completed, I think we would like to take a look-see, sure. you know. With regard to your request to get um, for the uh, scope of, of compliance for the uh, prior order of conditions indicating the work was not done at that time, I think we can act on that. So um, with your permission, then we would continue this to our next uh, public hearing, which will be November 7th. Great. Do we have any hearings on for that evening? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, great. Oh, I'm not yep. necessarily. Yep. Um, <laughs> I have it. What? Here. Got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Got it? Well, as a matter of fact, is that the right one? Yes. Oh. I've already continued oh. them till to 7 o'clock. Perfect. You're on for 7. It's not urgent, so if you have a full agenda, you know, continue. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. It's a subsequent Thank meeting. You. Yeah. You're already there. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can someone make a motion to that effect? Someone will make a motion okay. to, to continue, um, continue the um, matter to November 7th and 7th, yeah. I move that we continue the Alvin, Alvin Alvin Pope to November 7th at 7 p.m. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? <coughs> Any in favor? Aye. 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 Post the vote. Okay. And then what about closing the other COC out? Do you want to do that? I do, I do. Okay. So um, just just by way of background, I think as he described, there was an existing order of conditions, that, but the work was not done during that time period. Okay. And so um, he's requested his certificate of compliance, but on that form, we can certify that the work was not done under that um, within that time period under the, yeah. the order of conditions oh, we issued. So is there a motion? 
Two. I think we blew Michelle's mind. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Okay. We're issuing that it would I be make a issue motion to issue a certificate of compliance. That we for. issue a certificate of compliance for 515 Rochdale Street on the existing order conditions. And that DVD file number. The prior order conditions. That DVD file number, we can use that. 0980735. Yes, that one exactly. Is there a second? I'll second that. Right. Is there any discussion? Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. Apparently, I didn't. Why don't we sign a form right now so we can keep everything together? I agree, and I do. Okay. Sure. So, Mr. Krabowski, I just want to confirm that um, that Faith Avenue is continued to December. Is that correct? That's correct. There, uh, there is a meeting Tuesday. There has been a redesign. There's been some issues with uh, drainage leaving that small area and going to where it always went, which is a DOT, okay. Mass Turnpike, or draining to the east. And so they're uh, working with Graves and the planning board on this. Apparently everything else is set but the direction. Understood. Okay, very good. I thank you. <clears throat> the next matter on our agenda is a 715 public hearing. Marshal Provost notice of intent for the construction of a sink family home uh, septic system while well, a roof runoff and filtration system outside the buffer zone and roof front areas are properly located at zero South Street. Is there a motion open? I don't know. I'll open it still. I'll make a motion we open it. Is there a second? Yeah, second a motion. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong agenda. Okay. We need a second. Can I get a second? Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. There's that one too. Aye. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It Aye. just keeps getting moved. Yeah. I should have put the new one today. Now, Allison, this is a property that you and Tom uh, had the opportunity to go to. Okay. This is by the railroad tracks. So, what is the address again? Zero, Zero South, Street. South Street. South Street. Let's look at this. Nope. I don't know. Zero South Street's on Google. It's right at the railroad tracks on it's South. Right, yeah, might, yeah. We'll find it. We'll find it. Yeah. Uh, so where Cedar and South come together. Right. Just, just uh, further down. <coughs> there it is, right there. Right, right there at the tracks. There's the brook to the right. That's the parcel yeah. to the right. Yes, right here. This. Yeah. Uh, nope. It'd be this parcel. No, down low. Right here. Top of. And this is incorrect, this property line, it has been surveyed and all proven. There's a 34-foot opening here, allowing access, and that's what shows up on the plan. This was a gravel pit. If I could, Glenn Kowalski from EBT Environmental Consultants, this was part of the provost land when it was a farm, when they were dairy, when they were cow farms. And this was a gravel pit that they had utilized to you know, course pinkly soil out gravel over the years. He was still using it up to approximately three years ago when he sold the company L and H L and H sewage. Uh -huh. uh, the, the survey plan was done by yeah. Job Engineering out of Sturbridge. Uh -huh. So you're saying it's this one here? It is. It's, it's, uh, I think we look I think oh, I wait. Mm. 
I think I looked on the other side. I think I looked on the other side. No, no, we walked down this right here. Down the cot road. Yeah, yeah. And into some open <laughs> area, possibly? Mm -hmm. No, we just walked down the railroad tracks and kind of peered in. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. From here. Um, if you show the ortho, you might see the open. This opening? Yeah, it, it does open. Further in this way, you're going to see a pit if you get a little bit further in. Yep. There it is. Okay. Okay. So the house is going to be sitting back in this pit over 200 feet. This is the brook out here. Well, so, uh, right. Stone Brook. Okay. We have the mean annual high water delineated on the plan, the edge of the top of the bank. And then there's a 200 foot riverfront area extending off of that. Which, if I could, if you can follow this, if you can choose, please. There's the 200 foot zone extending down as the brook moves away. It uh, continues out this way. That's this is the pit, and this is outside. There's a buffer zone. There's a wetland across the tracks as you go further in, which drains down and then into this brook system. There's another brook system coming in off of uh, the upper part of South Street that comes in. It is uh, perennial. We've we, uh, walked the whole thing down below and up through him. Not that that makes any difference. We did delineate this as a pine forest, a pot that hasn't been altered, and they're pine and oak, and it drops down to a level plain where the wetland edges along it. And we have soil borings all along the delineated line. They are on the plan. There's three sheets to this plan. This is just the one showing the development. We stay on the existing cot road coming in, which continues this way. But we hook out, outside of the riverfront area, so we're not altering any additional new land coming in. And then we get to the house. They're not looking at their older couple. They're looking, uh, we're looking for two lots. They, they've settled. I've shown them that this could only be one on the zoning. We've talked to Matt and I have gone through this whole process. The septic is up in gravel. This is one place where the gravel hadn't been lined out, so it's too perfect. But it's outside the room, it's outside the buffer zone. Are these property lines different? I'm a little confused here. The property lines are wrong. I told you. Yeah, the they're not. The assessor's mapping is wrong. Okay. Which is not anything uncommon. This is the property line. It does go directly, and there's a pin right here, and there's a pin here, and it has been surveyed, and it looks more like that, where it comes to the tracks. Okay. They're going through planning now because that is a variance, because it is not 34, uh, 50 feet wide. There is a 50 foot wide opening. I went through this the last meeting, but you'd have to go through a native riverfront area through three wetlands and come into the site. And so this way we alter no, no new riverfront area to get in here. I can't say that. If you walked in, if you actually looked at this entrance, this side of the driveway is high and it comes up to the road. We, we built this side of the driveway up just slightly, there's one post contour, just so that when you come up to the, tr to the road, you're level and not dangerous as basic upward. So there's a small um, riverfront area, 93 square feet at the beginning on the opposite side of the, the brook. We've uh, also, to put the septic in here, there's another 1,000 square feet of riverfront area alteration. We're well under the 10%, oh, under 5,000 square feet, which we, um, are allowed to ask for under the reg. It is also 10% of the roof front area are allowed to ask for, which is deemed that it's not affecting significant wildlife habitat. We're under those square footages in the plan and we're planning on restoring a portion of the riverfront area gravel pit, exotic invasive plant removal, loom, <coughs> and planting it with uh, white pine and red oak, small area, 1,470, just to make up for these two small areas that we're uh, working on. We did have rare species as the wood turtle habitat. We filed with wood turtle with the rare species program. We did get a, a positive uh, letter that said that we weren't affecting rare species under the Wetland Protection Act. But under MESA, I'm sure you read the, the letter, I, I suppose. MESA, uh, so under the Wetland Protection Act, uh, as it says on the first sheet, will not adversely affect the actual resource area of the, of the rare species. But under MESA, because wood turtles roam the land in the summertime, and I, I'm, a, I'm a wood turtle monitor. That's one of the few species that I radio transmitted on them in the 80s and hatched 90 of them out on my property under Tom French with a species, rare species collection permit. They come into my, I created turtle nesting habitat for them on the bank, if you choose to know. And um, then I screen them, and then so the foxes, raccoons, skunks, and opossums can't eat up the eggs in the spring and June, normally around the 1st. 
So I screen it, put boulders around it so they can't dig underneath it. Uh, this year I hatched out 18, two females, and in all 90 so far to re-jumpstart the French River. I'm, I'm at a good population down below me in, Gre in U.S. Army Corps property, which we identified. I'm the one that identified that population back in the 90s. And now um, they come up into my property and we just ensure that they can, uh, their eggs are successful. Because normally up to 90% of the eggs of turtle, mm -hmm. turtle eggs are dug up because they, they smell. So when these human commensals or animals that are increased in population because of human activity, that's a human commensal, um, raccoons and such, uh, they smell that out of the ground, they eat it up, and then that's what we're preventing. So rare species is uh, supportive of me on that. And as far as this second part of this MISA, I um, have been recognized by Rare Species Program as this thing called Turtle Monitor. We just did a bridge over in Quinnip Box in Holden and did the Sun Sunoco gas, that was Mass DOT. Did a, uh, the Sunoco gas station two years ago in Oxford, which was where Turtle. And so I'm developing the plan, which I already have the basis of plans. And I did bring in, if you choose to know what the basis of the plans are, there's a brief outline of what they're going to require of me that you can have. Okay. Uh, and we're, uh, it's signs that go up, in fact the one on Quinnipox and on Mill Street is still there from when I put it up. So it's a sign and it says, you know, we're watching for it, it requires screening, it requires, if, if you do the work when the turtle's in its, back into its, its river or brook, because they overwinter, I'm the one that said to the state back in the early 80s, if you find brook trout, you're, you're probably going to find wood turtles because I grew up on a brook trout stream and I studied eight turtles that were in that stream. And so every time I find a brook trout stream, generally, if it's a, it's not a very heavy waters ones, maybe not. But as soon as the brook gets of any size into rivers, you'll find wood turtle. They breed every, they come up to the surface. I photograph them under the water, hunkering down. How often they come to the top where they're hunkering. Rare species is hiding me in the past to go point in the middle row, or back in the 90s, but on the none. So this is a wood turtle and we would screen. The screening would encompass the entire site. Then I have to screen before construction starts. I have to educate the workers, the contractors. If you see one, you have to make a phone call. It's all listed in that. On this type of screening, normally when I, lastly I'll say, on, when, I, when I put the screen up, uh, I'm one of the first I think that came up with this one, turtles like to climb. So on silk fence, when I put it in, S&M Farms will do it. it, it batters back like this. So it's still in the ground. But instead of straight up, it's like this towards the wetland side. As the turtle tries to climb it, it's, it can't get its bat lower leg into the fence. So then it's hanging like this. They, they can't climb it too. So in the end, uh, that's effective screening for them not to get into the construction site. But we have to screen the entire construction site too to make sure they don't get in it. Lastly, if you do the thing when they're in the river, uh, November to March, you can do it. You can do it on land without any special screening because the turtles are hunkering in the river. But as soon as they start roaming, then you have to screen for the turtle. And he, I asked Mr. Provost and Mrs. Provost if they thought they were going to do this thing over the winter or early or late winter and early spring, and they said no. So we will develop the plan that's listed on this. We already have all the basis information for it. That will go to rare species. I'll, I'll submit a copy to the commission for your records to see what it's all about okay. beyond what I've just said. Yeah. I'm just wondering, what is, what are they going to the planning board and what is this going to be like? Oh, it, hammerhead lot or? Yes, it, it's going to be a variance for frontage on a six and a half acre lot. So, so they so have the, the 50 zoning foot board, then. zoning denied by the building inspector first, then the ZBA. Yeah. Okay. That's, so that's the ZBA Zachary, then. Okay. Zachary Gless. Mm -hmm. Yes, it would be ZBA. Sorry, I, yeah, I mm -hmm. deal mostly with conservation. And when's that hearing going to be? I had talked to Mr. Gless at the time of the last meeting and it was uh, and he said okay I'll go immediately there I said why didn't you go earlier so he apparently if you haven't heard about it mm. should already be denied it and actually applying to ZBA well, he has not applied to ZBA because I'm the secretary for that well um, is this Jeffrey I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on the phone with him as soon yeah. as I leave here okay. because that was supposed to start I, I, I want to close my project out, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want to keep saying it. Well, no, we enjoy hours. seeing you. But, I do um, appreciate that. that. Would be the neighbor. I'll be honest, I'd like to um, continue this to the November um, uh, here, uh, date, yeah. just okay. to see, get clarification on what's going to happen. Uh, okay. Well, I, okay, thank you again. I, 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 request, I will request that continuance. We have, okay. we have questions. So I was out there, now that I got my bearings, mm -hmm. we did walk along the edge of this railroad track, uh -huh. we peered in, and it looked really wet in here. 
Um, so I'm just wondering. Well, I had asked for site inspections with the commission. I left my number here. I'm available for any site inspection you choose to have. And that area that you're looking at is approximately nine feet or eight feet above the water table. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm available to go auger that soil, show you whatever need to be, because that's a coarse gravel soil and it tapers off. And at the end, over here, there's this wetland line. If you didn't come across it, then it crosses the street. Then there's a wetland coming down. Here's the edge of the buffer zone. And this is also drops down. And this was the gravel pit. Okay. So I'm available, and I please. Um, and I think we benefit actually from taking another look out there. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, so I, think we I know I can't go um, this coming weekend, but I can go next weekend. Okay. Which day is that? November. 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 Do and I'll call Mr. Glass. And what would your next meeting be in November? Uh, November 7th. 7th. Thank you again. Oh. Are you talking about ZBA or Glass? Um, first the 7th here and then yeah. I, I, I'll leave that up to Mr. Glass to work. Yeah. Moving along with him. That's it's the good. same one working on the Zero, so. Yeah, the name sounds familiar. Mm, existing grades. Yes. So okay. thank you for that. Okay. All right. You want to sign this, Glenn? Oh yes, of course. So we're going to make a motion on that. Yes. Uh, I move that we move zero the South Street zero South Street to November seventh at. Wait, we got no time. Switch up. Actually, seven fifteen. Seven fifteen. Seven fifteen. Okay, well, I'll second that. November 7th? Wait a minute, I got something else here. No, it's oh. massive, which is coming off. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, all right. Okay, 715. Okay, great. All right. Um, there's been a motion, a second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? Thank you. Okay, thank you. We'll see you um, on November 3rd. Okay. Carolyn did. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Now, the next matter on our agenda is a 720 public hearing for William Terrian. Notice of intent for the construction of a single family dwelling in Grinning, our property located at 416 South Street. Um, I think as I previously indicated, uh, Mr. Terrian is, um, is a client of mine, which means I cannot share uh, the hearing. But we have a dilemma because Mr. Fallon, who is the vice chair, is not present tonight. So trying to think of a clever way to get around this. <laughs> and I suppose... Could you appoint someone else? Uh, uh, well, yes. Mm -hmm. I think possibly we could do that. So does someone want to make a motion to appoint someone to uh, chair the meeting for the limited purpose of, of uh, Mr. Terrian's uh, notice of intent? I make a motion that we um, propose Michelle. And Me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I like the enthusiasm of the show. Oh, well, that's Paige on seniority. Sounds like a baseball game here. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Ready to go to the game. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Thank I you. Would, uh, is, sure. well, yeah, is there a second? I second. Okay. Is there any discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Pose the vote. All right, Slugger, you're on. There, you're on. It's very simple. <laughs> Just call it. Just read, just read what it says here. What will come and get you? Seven <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Here, take the seat of I, I get the, get the seat of you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just get me when we're done. We will. Thank you. Okay. 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 Ooh, ooh. All right. 720 Let's applicant. Oh, no. I'd like to open the meeting for 720 applicant William Terrian Jr. for a notice of intent for a construction of a single family dwelling. I second that. So moved. Yeah, actually. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. second it probably. All right, so who opened the hearing? Oh, oh I'll open it. Open it. Yeah, okay. I'll and I'll second it. it. All right. Yeah. All right. And the grading on property located outside of that buffer zone is yeah. part of the whole thing, okay? 416 South Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So 416 okay, South, thank you. There are uh, houses to the 
north and south of this existing lot. You, if you haven't gone there, I'm going to recommend, and if this is needed to be looked at, what, that we maybe can look at it directly after the, the, um, the yeah, meeting of Provost. We yeah. went down there um, as well. And Did you see the trailer? The, the trailers were parked yep. there, right? Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. And it also seemed a little bit wetter than where the lines were, but I'd love you just to you know show me. Well, well, we might say that uh, surely because we augured the egg of uh, this whole site, and Great. I'll show you the yeah. non-hydric soils Please. in the area. It is wet at this time of the year with the kind of two to three inches to one and a half to three. We have water table above and up into non-hydric soils, yeah. but the vegetation isn't there, but and also the soils aren't there. This site had to be augured extensively because this drainage way which is here's the guy's yard coming down you see the uh -huh. topo and then this is in here the wetlands up here but it starts here and I all get everything coming down that swale to prove it's non-hydric 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 boom the first hydric soil so my it's pleasure to get in there and show you sure. that yeah, yeah it's more of that western end um, western yeah right where your hand is closer to where your hand was down there it seemed a little bit wetter that's all so we'll go look at it sure yeah um, that was for otherwise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what was the next street right after that one, right before it, on the corner of? It's on the corner uh, of West Millbury Road, Road at the oh. top of the hill? Okay, it's at the top of the hill. Okay. Right, this is coming back. If, we, if, you, if you're looking around, there we go. Look at the so yes. if you go just a little bit further, here we go, Old, Old Millbury Road. Road. Okay. And then coming back down in Marshall is right here. Oh, got it. So okay. We would just come up. Here's that brook as it goes up, stone mm -hmm. under and then mm -hmm. goes out. And we're up around the corner. It, you can Millbury, see the two yeah. houses on either yeah. side before yeah. you get there. And it, it's there's a, a storage trail, a, uh, a storage container oh, there, the ones that. that go on boats. So you can't miss that. Yeah, we I talked about it before. I've oh. seen it. Yep. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll what's this? Just that's uh, a that's a railroad track okay. again. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. We'll yeah the bottom of the hill is a wetland. This is wetland along here. This this drains down to a wetland system. Obviously, there's still some farm fields out that way but this low point that's why the track is down there it's at actually a low point and uh what, it, it, um, what does he intend to do actually there Glenn? build a single family so, house so so raise down everything that's that's there the right barn and the garage and everything and build so the house in the front he's a contractor and it he wants this uh, structure actually i don't know if he's a contractor he has some no equipment. i don't think no he's right before he had he did a septic system Oh, okay. He, he cleaned septic systems for a long time. Oh, okay. You're before. Mr. Terry. I know. Mr. Terry. And, 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 yeah, Mr. Terry. Okay. Yeah. So interesting. Uh, and then he has a septic in the back. I think that's right. Okay. I saw him delivering uh, to a Shell gas station back a few oh, weeks yes. ago, and he he probably has maybe far, has multiple businesses because he asked me, what are we filing? How far is that? I, <laughs> I was still waiting for the engineer, so that's how I so the okay. time I like seen him the, outside of the SWAT. I see it. Yeah, southern part there, and then so it's. Kind of in between these two lots okay. here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I can't see from your markers, Glenn. Mm -hmm. How far is it outside of the well and the? the I can't. Here, see here's it. the buffer zone. So here we go. There's the hundred foot buffer. It goes. The, the house is outside the hundred foot buffer. Yeah. There is a well right here. Okay. Pose well. Uh, the garage is just touching. It's it's going through the buffer. Mm -hmm. I told them to keep out outside the twenty five foot no disturbance zone. Yep. So he. So there's there's so that, that and the septic is outside of the, the septic system itself is obviously over 50 feet away, right. because that's required by law. By law, I guess. And up in the well too. So. Yep, Th this is the hundred foot buffer. So the yeah. well is out, actually just outside of the hundred foot buffer. This is the fifth. There's the 25, the 50, and the hundred, and it because that's the top of the wetland. So they all arc like this. If you see. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can see okay. it from back. But I, yeah, we'll, we'll show you those 10 <laughs> YR44, 10 YR46 okay. soils within 12 inches of non hydric. I just had a course in Concord, New Hampshire last week. It was on soil morphology at the University of New Hampshire, Concord. All right, so let's make a motion to continue this to November 7th. Uh, yeah. And um, make a motion that. I make a motion that we continue the uh, William Terry and Notice of Intent uh, mm -hmm. applicant for mm -hmm. Notice of Intent to November 7th. Yeah, I'm just at, trying to think what time here. At. Oh, I was trying to get them kind of both together. Should we do a 720? No. Um, 
What was the other one? Seven. I think it's seven fifteen. I think. Just we just did the other one I at seven fifteen. I think the was seven. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I've got yeah. somebody else already scheduled for seven twenty or seven ten. Well, we can seven. schedule two at the same probably. time. I think I. Okay. You need to do five minutes apart because I've already got the next one. Oh. Seven, what do we have at 7 o'clock? It should be 725 really for that one. See, so Alvin Pope has continued to say 7 10. Yeah. I'll put them down together and then we can take from here. Put them down together. Okay. So it's uh, continued to uh, yeah, just 11 to make a point, I yes. think if the provost one is cut and dry in the field, looking at yeah. soils again, if there's any. No, if there aren't any questions after the site inspection, and we already have the EP <coughs> number and we have rare species comments. And we're, uh, and if, if you review that NOI to show that, see that we're in compliance, we're in an existing degraded riverfront area, all this stuff, I, I think it might be quick, but I'm not saying how you bleed. We could maybe do it in 10 minutes or something. All right, so do sure. both the we'll same. Fine. Yeah, we'll do this. Come at the same time. Yeah, whatever. Take it from there. Good. Alrighty. Oh, okay, um, you seconded. So, so Allison, you will have Allison the inspection seconded then right then. after the provost one. Is that it? Right. Yes. Okay. Because yeah. that the provost is at nine, so we'll just leave from there. Yes. I appreciate okay. it again. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. No worries. Do you want to say no problem? Me. All right. Uh, so, all in favor? It's a vote. Yes. Yes. Aye. 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 No, I don't Aye. think I vote on that, actually. Sure, <laughs> no. sure you can. Sure <laughs> We're good. We second that. All right. And then I have to brush up on my skills. Is it? I propose that she second that. To brush up on my skills. You're good job. I'm Thank good you. at just sitting over in the corner. I don't have a bad thing. Yeah, don't get balanced. Yeah. Here we get Mike. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you shortly. Yes. In two weeks. It is two weeks, isn't it? It's December 7th. Yeah. I got this deal. I wonder where we're proposing for November, for November, for December. All right, thank you. I don't know. Christmas is on a Christmas is on a Tuesday. Do you want to scan this and send? So we might do the first one. Would be like five, I think. Sure. I'll ask you later. All right. What's next? We're good. Well handled. Bye. Have a good night. Good evening. Thank you. Take care, man. See you on the third. Sure. <coughs> We're gonna look at it. Okay. <coughs> Did you say you didn't get a DEP file number on that? But we have one on that. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Both. Yes, I do. Both came in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There was no comments on this one. Yeah. Good. No comments. Oh. The only comment there was on that provost was that to send it over to rare species, but I did give you. The you gave sheet me. at yeah. the back of yeah. the yeah. filing that showed that I did send it yeah, there. So I don't know what Megan Selby might have missed that somehow. Mm -hmm. I did call him and let him know that I did send it. Can't wait. Thank you. Again. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Thank you. So, was the was the public hearing closed? Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll continue. Mm -hmm. That's we'll continue. 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 Actually, we're going to go we're gonna, we're gonna have them together. The, the zero south and four sixteen right. at the same time. Uh -huh. Very good. Just, just because there's another hearing coming up, and I didn't want to Understood. Have, have to wait in That's between. That's fine. Did have we heard from um, no. Mr. Goodman or no. Scott sure. Morrison? We want to apologize. Yeah. That I came back Big here. We were short one of the girls, yeah. and it was oh, absolutely That's crazy. Fine. And I yeah. had all these really headlines. I had to get no things. Problem. You're not surprised at all. No, no, but no. I'm pretty soon going to be ice skating down there. <laughs> <laughs> we just figured maybe we'd yeah, when he's going to start to work. Well, I would pay to see that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, really. He yeah, hasn't started working on that <coughs> at this point. It's oh, that's why we're wondering, you know, when was it going yeah. to start? Yeah. All right, so. As soon as I hear something, so I certainly will yeah. keep you informed. All right, so, Sheila, you didn't hear anything from no. uh, EchoTech or from Mr. Goodman? No. Have you seen Scott down there or anybody? No. EchoTech, no. nobody? Is there a way of start finding this man? I'm sorry, I'm pretty tired. Cool, right? yeah, yeah. I'm a little agitated. Really? But we have an enforcement order in place. Then the next thing it. is to, and and we'll maybe discuss this. Mm -hmm. I think what I was going to suggest is sending him a letter asking them when they're going to have a remediation plan available. Yeah. Excuse me, you gave him four weeks. Yes, yes, we, did. Right. yes we did. Plus all the rest of the time. You've okay. given him four weeks. I understand that. Mm -hmm. You've been very nice. Yeah. Well, I... Not really. <laughs> I I don't know if I've been that nice or we've been that nice. So why don't we do this? We've been nice. All right. Following on your on your lead, um, Ms. Brooks, and I understand your frustration here. Why don't we? How about sending them a letter saying that if they don't have a plan for us 
by November 7th that we will um, bring the matter up for further consideration and start talking about fines. Okay. Okay. I do, we, do we need a proposal? You're making a face. Do we need a proposal for that? What? We need a proposal. Can we? I did. Oh, we need, I need a motion. Can yeah. I? Can I'll, I just I make interject for a second? I, I, I think that from last year when we sent them, we sent them a thing mm -hmm. saying, not that I'm, I'm getting a little cranky pants here too. I think at this point, but we did send him a letter saying, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna find you. He obviously isn't taking us seriously at all. No. He's obviously not trying to take down the, that, that, that chicken, chicken coop because we told yeah. him to take yeah. that down. What two years ago? E easily, easily. To, and he kind of gave me two and said, "No, I don't have to do that." That's right. Well, he did that. You know what I mean? Like, and he he obviously has absolutely no intention of doing that at all no, no, no. On, just any, on any level. Then would you prefer that we refer this to DEP? Or just to find him. I mean, at this point, let, let's find him, and then he can come in and say, I "Wait say, a minute," and then uh, fight it. I say we give him one more chance. Uh, how and about, I'll uh, wait. Me too. You do too. How, how, how much of a chance? Are we well, to look, give he was here. Look, we don't know the details. I don't know what's up with the engineer. You know, and I, I'm mindful. I'm as frustrated with this property as you are. Right. All right. Enough. So, um, I mean, we either find them now, which, and, and the, of course, the issue with fines is that um, I, I imagine to they're not going to be them. paid. Right. right. I agree with exactly. You. DEP has, and what DEP can do that we can't do is, is they can go into court. They can bring an action against him, and they can get injunctive relief against him. Okay, okay? so that is the benefit of going uh, or referring this to okay. DEP. Yeah. My suggestion would be: I'm going to revise my prior suggestion. Yeah. My prior, I would suggest that we tell them that the drop dead date here is November 1st, which is in a week, mm -hmm. and that if we don't see uh, a remediation plan by November 1st, that we will refer the matter to DEP. Okay. Okay. What about the seventh? The seventh no, what is our next meeting. Okay, but, but that, so we'd like it before that. Yeah. We I'm, so, be well, I'm, right. I'm saying we give them a deadline of November first because first. we should okay. have had the plan by now, and has been has been noted. They've had four weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I suspect the issue is that um, they have not been paid. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, Scott. You mean? Yes, Scott. Yeah, I get it. Because you. he came here. And, yeah, um, you know, I will tell you that we've had many dealings over the years with Ecrotech. They're reputable. Yeah. Um, and I suspect yeah. that is the issue. The issue is not yeah. the engineer. The issue it's is with the property yeah. owner. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. All right? You're right about so, that. So, till, till November 1st to get the plan here. Right. right. And that if they or don't, or it will refer, refer it. the DEP. Right. If we don't have For a plan. further enforcement. Do you need the meeting on November 7th to... to vote on the DEP or will it just automatically happen on November 1st? It, we're going to keep this on our agenda. Okay. I mean, if they don't, if we don't get the plan by November 1st, at November 7th, we'll revisit this and then I'm sure a motion will be, will be made to refer it to DEP. So, so Shelly, you should plan. get the remediation plan. It could just be going on for another two years. You know? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. So, it, is so there a... Someone want to make a motion, Carolyn? I make a motion that we, uh, see what we're doing, uh, that we uh, let uh, Mr. Goodman, uh, know that uh, he has one week until November 1st to submit a remediation plan. Yeah. Uh, if we receive nothing by that time, then we refer the, the status of situation to the DP. Yeah. Yes. And we'll. <coughs> I second that. <coughs> Excuse me. And and we refer to DP. We'll send him a packet about that thick. We'll give him a history of the entire um, property, including the fact that he started developing it and start doing work there without ever giving us notification and um, Margaret Washburn's recommendations and, and so on. So there's a motion and is there a second? I second it. Is there any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed okay. to vote. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody. Good. All right. Thanks for staying. All right. Yeah, thank you. I'll let you know. Let us know. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really like saying that. Awesome. I know Bill does. Good day. Thanks. We'll see ya. Good. Right. Okay, looking good. Oh, this will be Tom's packet. Sheila, this is Tom's packet. Oh, yes. Set it up. Yeah, here's the rest of it. Okay. Yeah. Shall we do the minutes for September? <coughs> Excuse me. September 26th.
Satan have not been revised? Not yet. Hmm. And maybe they won't have to. Well, let's hold mm-hmm. a good thought. I can kind of find that. I don't think I have this. Do you have any extra copies? Um, um, I hadn't. Oh, wait, we have it, sorry. Okay. Just kidding. You have it? Yeah. Okay. I think I had sent them on two occasions. Do you not have them? Why don't you, my, I, why don't you just take them? I have them somewhere. That's okay. I, know. I, might, I may have them on the right. but that's okay. You take them. Right. Right. Thank you. Take care. Sure. Take care. Scribner development, right in the middle there, it says Mr. Du Bois stated the system is five feet above the water line. Is it water line or water table? It should be water table. Yeah, table. Okay. Where are we? It's um, about okay. um, halfway down. Actually, the line begins with Mr. Du Bois. Okay. I'm going to run down and see if he's sent that to me. He's going to send me a plan. Who? Who? Jay Dubois. He was going to send me a plan, you know, not to have any vote on it tonight, but I just said I'd give it to you. If not, I can just email it to you tomorrow. You can email it to me. That's fine. If I got it. Sure. Keeping you up? Yes, today is a very tough day. You're not going to be watching TV. Huh? You're going to be watching TV tonight. Yeah, except watching the game till midnight. It Um, was last night, it was midnight. Yeah, so so the the Marvel Pro, Marshall Provost uh, paragraphs there, the second, right in the middle, it says this would have a greater environmental impact than the proposed access, I think you want to say. Yeah. And it's um, right yeah. before. Instead of that, just. The, the, and then the next one is a. Impact, impact. Instead of a wood turtle, right above <laughs> a wood turtle habitat. Yeah. Okay, so what. So and then. That should be then. Okay. Yes, then. Okay, under 490 Rochdale Street. It's the fourth line where it starts, new permits were issued. Okay. The next sentence, be, well, first of all, new permits were issued to reconstruct um, a yeah. septic system. What, what do you, what's your intention with that sentence? To, it was really it's uh, one, for the house and for a septic system. Well, I, I think it, I. Yeah. It wouldn't be a reconstruction. It'd be a, it would be construction. Yeah. Okay. To construct a home or a house so and install a septic system. Install a septic system. Right? Yeah. Okay. And a period. Period. <clears throat> and it says it should be the area below was disturbed past tense prior to oh, yeah. his delineation. One period. 
Yeah, I've got more than I've, I've got. It looks like you were. I think you forgot to like read, I didn't read go this back one. <laughs> I think you were. It's almost like a free flow. It's like it's into just your mind. I just wing it, then I go back and fix it. Well, you didn't fix that one. No, I know, and I and up on the top, Mr. Goodman, I separated his name, purchasing the prop. <laughs> that should be property. Yes. Okay. And Goodman should be one word. Goodman should be one word. Something was going on. See, I noticed that. Something was going on. Did I have a letter taking another stab at this? Yeah, I think you need. Um, I'm going to have to give you a, a C on this. Okay. As long as I pass, I'm all she set. Was well, it's okay. I'm being, I'm being generous. I know. So I think, uh, and I think Alice is absolutely right. I don't one more have, time. I, I'm, I'm getting over I'll, cold. I'll do it in word if you want. I'm not sure I know what you were thinking. I'm not sure I can remind you of so much. So Alice is right. You're going to send me the corrections. Is that right? Is it? very cool out there. Okay. So do we dare look at the minutes of October 10th? No, let's just skip it. I don't have them. Well, we don't, do we don't have I have them, but I wasn't. Do you have copies of those for us? I wasn't here. I no, don't you, have them. You don't? I have them. She probably didn't do that one. I, just, you don't ha I have, I have you're my copy. You're pooped, huh? Here. It's on the agenda for next week. Michelle and I, All right, Michelle you know and I what? were not here. You know what? Um, we'll do them next week. Okay. Okay. Or the next meeting, okay? okay? We'll kick the can again. All right. Not that you know. Not that you know way ahead, uh, but you may know way ahead. On November 7th is our next meeting. Do you yes. know when the December meeting might be? Um, I was thinking the 12th. Yeah, that is two weeks into it. Five and That's then five. The second. Yes, please. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. So twelve. Okay. okay. Very good. All right. Excellent. Okay. okay. I think I put is that. Is this thirteen Hallman guessing. Street? That's next time. Yes. I oh, know. I'll be here for all of those. Okay. Um, is there anything else you wanted want to discuss? No. Those site visits you're looking for. Oh, sorry. November third. Yeah. November third. Five fifteen, watch yeah, the film. Yeah, I'll get you that after. Yeah. 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 Y
Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Okay, and you can sign this too. Okay. Okay. This is hard candy if you throw it stray. You know, I I thought I'd kick this cold and it's um, No, it just keeps coming back <laughs> and back and back and back. It has been, yeah. Why you can yeah, I get it from you? Yeah, yeah. It's not from me. I think it was from somebody else, but I have the same one that okay. I got from somebody else oh, too. It's, so I hate it. I, I forgot to bring my candy. <clears throat> I was wondering about this um, extra this park out here. <laughs> what is this? Do you have an extra senior flu shot? So I got both. The, like we got both the shingle shots. No, no, we had the the, the oh. senior single shingle shot after age fifty-five. So twenties right here. Uh, Three ninety-fives here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We're up in here, right? We're over here. Mm -hmm. So if you go down. Whatever this street is, keep going, and then there's this is park over here. Street? Yep. What is going on over there? It just seems like this abandoned. There's like a old building here. Uh, I forget what it's called. Gleason's Park. Oh, or Gleason. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Camp Gleason. Camp Gleason. That's Camp Gleason. Yeah. Is that there? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, Ken Holson. Yeah, there it is, right there. Two, two sixty one. What is that? I think Tom was telling me that the water quality was bad or something. Yeah, why don't, it is. Why, don't, why isn't that? Why can't we all talk about? My mother yeah. used to swim there. As a I kid. used to swim I there. Oh, I went to, yeah, I think I probably. I used to. Oh, Rotary, Rotary Beach. Rotary Beach. Same I did. Yeah. I, I did Rotary Beach. Yeah. And is ours is joining. Actually, we have to start talking about that. I we have funding to like. Look into mm. stuff like to that. To fixing is? all of the waterways because they're all going to turn into swamps. So yeah, no, but like Rotary Beach is going to be horrible. And this one all just seems like it'd be a good swamps. resource for Auburn. I feel like there's just not as many of these kind of recreational. There isn't but there because they're all turning into swamps. Yeah, yeah. Well, the question is, um, it didn't look swampy. It looked like oh a no, it's turning into a swamp. Pond. That's why it did. That's it got. It got polluted and there was mm -hmm. weeds in it and they were afraid that they weren't going to be able to find the kids in it. And mm -hmm. the, the guy drowned himself there. And then Eric... Oh, I thought that was at Lower Stoneville. It was on the other side. It was on the other side that the other after the <sighs> fires, because Eric went in there diving for him. Oh, wow. He did. Yeah. Yeah. So it was well, on the other side. They can't that. like restore it and but put they in can't, some sort can't of see. system to keep yeah. the weeds out. Well, the question is, who has the jurisdiction to do that? Right. Do we have the money? The I don't think we do. Because it's money. Well, well they, it, they do do the deep weeding. They drain it down. It's not a lie. Do I just let let freeze below the line? and then? Who owns it? Does the town? Yeah, town. Yeah, doesn't that run right under the electric panels? I mean, the electric. Um, you know, you know what you need to do? You have to put a proposed article to go in the town. <coughs> Excuse me. The warrant for the town it? meeting. Not That's what you'd have to do. You'd have to propose. Um, I think the state owns part of it and then the town and picks up part of it. An article okay. saying basically spearheading a project to um, beautify or clarify that whole area. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's because what that's we don't have the shame. funds for it, and, mm -hmm. and right. they yeah. have to appropriate mm -hmm. right. money mm -hmm. for it. Right. You probably and first so of all, before you can even so far down. come up with a plan to you have to come up with a plan first to uh, uh, where remediate the problems comes there. Down. Right. Actually, I might just uh, start down. I'm bored now that my house is done. I have like so much time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like a be whole right meal. behind you. You'll be right behind me when you're not traveling. Yeah, yeah, that. that so true. should I just write below okay. this, or are you guys all set? You have enough lines filled, or what? Uh, you can put you can go you can on the next page. Oh, so on the space. Push. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, see. Yeah. You can have it all to yourself, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what day it is today. Today's the 24th. Okay. It's Halloween Wednesday. is in one week. A few more, a few more hours. So buy your Halloween candy. Yeah, for the whole, what, three people that come to my We buy We buy the full... Candy Nobody bars. comes to my neighborhood, do you think? Yeah. After 100, I'm shutting my Come all around our neighborhood. Actually, we have kids on our street now. We just buy full candy bars, though. I feel like just I just buy them to people tops. Yeah. I mean, they're big groups, but yeah. it's just they, they drop them off in vehicles <coughs> and cars. And just Is there anything else? Um, 77 Berlin Street. That was a building permit, I think, that... The question was whether or not the building was well, within our jurisdiction. Yeah. So I think we have to take a look at it. Okay, we're going to put that on that list. Sure. Oh, okay. So oh, you've that got... got 515. Yep. And you've got South Street Marshall again. Yep. And then you've got uh, 416 South 416. Street. And then you've got 30 
Uh, 77 Berlin. Check it. 37 what? There we go. 77 Berlin. 77 Berlin, okay. My yes. well, good. Um, oh. I had asked Caleb and Darlene, and now I don't even remember what happened, about 34 Mill Street. And they were both so busy today, I didn't even have a chance to ask. <clears throat> so maybe you'll have so a chance tomorrow? I'm hoping. Okay. Wow. We'll just continue. See if they went over there and to see. Okay. okay. Um, so our next meeting is November 7th, and then we're going to go with December 12th. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. If there's no other business, is there a motion to adjourn? Yes. A motion, motion to adjourn this meeting. And I will second that. <laughs> okay. Is there any discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. No.